Hi guys, it's Mel Deli here and I'm not really sure what this video is going to be so I hope you enjoy it anyway and it lives up to all your expectations of the great quality that you usually are expecting to see on this channel. I usually choose the worst day to try and film a video. Um, it's raining. It's July, halfway through the year, so it's a bit unusual for it to be raining, but it is England, I mean, what do you expect? I probably have the worst tan anyone has ever had, because there's the line, you know, me and my rolled up sleeved t-shirts, there's a very obvious line. I also wear quite a few of these tops, so there is a line there. So it goes tan, not tan, tan. Now apart from the obvious lack of preparation British people have for hot weather, there are also many, many things that are included in this bracket of, I guess, sort of British summer. The very occasional part of the summer which is like summer. Things that British people do in hot weather which people who are used to it probably don't do and I'm going to attempt to state them all in this video for your viewing pleasure which I have now decided is the topic of the video rather than what I'm doing today so yeah summer in rainy England it's it's great honest no matter what the weather is especially if you are from more of the center of the UK you will always want to go to the beach and for obvious reasons it's not the most enjoyable especially if it's raining or extremely windy but they will still want to go and what usually happens is it's usually a stony beach so no no enjoyment of having your shoes off oh no your your feet are gonna die if you have your shoes off you will have an image of a nice blue ocean it's usually grey <laughs> it's usually a dark greeny grey colour which obviously we're used to but it's a little bit you know oh it's grey but you'll persevere, you'll be like, you know what, don't judge a book by its cover, let's, let's go in. So you'll walk over, probably with your shoes on still, um, and you'll put your feet in the water and it will be freezing. You'll feel as if you're putting your feet in ice water, whereas actually it is probably around 18 degrees. But you'll still see that random nutter way out, just swimming backwards and forwards aimlessly, and... I'd understand if they had to swim somewhere, but they're doing it by choice. I usually just look at them and just think, what what have you got going in your life that makes you want to swim in this cold water? I mean, I can barely put my toe in it. So sometimes you may be brave enough to, you know, waddle in and get bashed about by strong waves. Usually there are very strong waves on the British coast and yeah obviously you no matter how much you swim around you're gonna get cold eventually so you, you waddle back out um, quite ungracefully and are greeted by the extremely cold wind which is ongoing I mean it never stops no matter what day you go there's always a very very strong wind and by then the towels you are gonna use are all sandy probably have some sort of dog poo on them so you've got to try and you know avoid that but still try and dry yourself as you go and you know bits of broken glass in your feet and sand all in between your toes and down your nails you have to try and get that out but at the same time you have to dry your body before you can put your feet on your towel it's just it's just a stressful experience so after the stress is over you know you're reasonably dry you put your clothes back on you have some sort of towel in your hair you collect all your stuff and start walking up the beach um, the stuff usually includes a failed portable barbecue which no matter how many people shielded it it would still get blown out by the wind you'll have your backup sandwiches which if the barbecue failed you would eat those but they had sand in them anyway so you didn't you didn't actually eat them. You'll also have your bags of dog poo, which for some reason there is no bin along the entire stretch of the beach, so you probably made one of your children just ha carry it. And generally, you're quite miserable. I mean, it's, it, it was a disappointment every time you try and get your hopes up from the previous experience, but it just, it just never gets better. And occasionally, just to try and boost your spirits, you go crabbing and, um, yeah, I don't know how many 
different cultures have crabbing, whether that is something which is used globally, whether that's been invented by the UK to kind of make the day better after being disappointed by the beach. So basically what it is, you'll have a, a random bridge which people are probably already crabbing at, you'll have a bucket, you'll have some bacon or something, and you have one of these really professional net things that you get from the ice cream van, and basically you just chuck it over, wait for however long you think, put up, and you might have a crab, and then you put them all in the bucket, then let them go. And usually that's quite a good experience, except as an 11 year old you look over the side of the bridge and your phone, your new phone, falls out of your pocket and is to never be seen again. And it was a flip one as well, it was a really cool one, it was black and it was purple and it had like lights on it and you flipped it and it played music and you had the butt off, oh, it, was, it was the coolest phone I'd had in my life so far. And you'll see the occasional sad croc at the bottom from where the tide has gone out and you just think that poor child whose croc fell in as they were have dangling their feet over the side it's just it's just it's just emotional you'll catch all your crabs most of the time they just fall off before you manage to get them into the basket but you'll have a certain amount and you'll let them go and you'll count them and it's just it's just a great experience. Obviously not everyone can have access to a beach, especially as amazing as mine. As you'd expect, the sale of paddling pools and general water toys increases. And no child's garden is complete without one of those really pathetic water slide things which you get out your fairy liquid, squirt it on there and just put the sprinkler on it. And let your kids run wild. Unless you were too big for the tarpaul thing or went too fast and then you just end up going on the grass. There's also an increase in men who probably shouldn't have their top off just parading around Tesco's. It does catch you by surprise, you just have to kind of double take occasionally. Just the body confidence that those men have, it's just, it's just inspirational. It doesn't get that hot in the UK, I mean 25 to 30 degrees is probably the highest you'll see and usually it's about for two days and then it just starts raining again. So for these men to just be parading around with nothing on, they obviously, I don't know, well they are slightly overweight usually so. On that note, I think I'm gonna end the video. I hope you enjoyed whatever this was, I guess it was a rant or a relatable video. But um, I hope you enjoyed it, wherever, wherever you want to describe it as. I hope you have a good summer. I hope it lives up to your expectations or or um, I hope you catch up with that, uh, that season or series you're watching of whatever show, insert name here. Let's reiterate, I hope you have a good summer. hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you very soon. Bye. And his name's John Cena. <laughs>